In 2002, Gerard Jerlinski, a Polish Geological Institute paleontologist, was enjoying a holiday on the Greek Mediterranean island of Crete. While he was there, Jerlinski decided to explore the village of Trakilos on the coast near the town of Kisimos. And during that visit, he stumbled across a mysterious set of some 50 footprints imprinted on the rocky beach. At the time, he categorized the footprints simply as mammalian, but subsequent studies of them led to conclusions that in scientific terms are incendiary. It was 2010 before Jerlinski and a colleague returned to Trakilos to examine the footprints, in fact, and several more years passed before they published a paper outlining what they learned. One important finding that the 2017 paper included was the age of the footprints, a staggering 5.7 million years. The age of the footprints had been established by analyzing tiny fossils in the rocks called foraminifera. These tests can provide an accurate dating of sedimentary layers of rock, and those particular footprints lay just below a layer created 5.6 million years ago when the Mediterranean Sea completely disappeared for a time. Although remarkable, the age of the prints was uncontroversial. But what did prove to be extremely contentious were the conclusions that the paper made about what animal had made the footprints. The scientists reported that there were two tracks and that they'd been made by a creature that walked on two legs and stood vertically. And this information led the scientists to make the controversial claim that the animals that had walked on these sediments 5.7 million years ago were homonyms. This is the modern term that scientists use to describe all types of humans and their immediate ancestors, including those that are now extinct. Neanderthals, for example, are classed as homonyms. But why is this identification of 5.7 million year old homonym footprints on a Cretan beach so controversial? Well, the answer to that lies in the overwhelming consensus about the emergence of Homo sapiens that's held sway for decades in the world of paleoanthropology. The accepted scientific theory of human evolution is that we evolved in Africa and spread out from there across Europe, Asia, and ultimately the rest of the world. Ever since quarry workers in South Africa discovered a fossilized skull with humanoid features in 1924, it's been believed that all modern humans can ultimately trace their lineage back to Africa. And these early prehumans are known as Australopithecus africanus. Subsequent discoveries of other homonym fossils, especially in East Africa, added to the scientific evidence supporting the out of Africa theory. The Lytoli site in Tanzania, for example, yielded footprints of a homonym which was dated to 3.6 million years ago. These footprints closely resembled those of modern humans. This is the earliest instance of bipedal homonyms so far found. Other fossil discoveries were made at Hadar in Ethiopia, and the early human-type species there and at Lytoli have been given the name Australopithecus afarensis. Some 300 specimens of the species have now been found in Africa, and they lived between 3 and 4 million years ago. In fact, they were around for at least 900,000 years, a lot longer than Homo sapiens has been. The footprints found on the Trachilos beach have been dated to 5.7 million years ago, however, and therein lies the controversy. Previously, it's been believed that homonyms first left Africa much later than that. But if that's the case, then how did these footprints appear on the Cretan coast? In fact, accepted scientific theory puts the time of the first migration by our human ancestors from Africa at some 2 million years ago. For instance, a homonym species called Homo ergaster was in Eurasia by about 1.7 million years ago. At around the same time, Homo erectus had settled in Southeast Asia. But that, of course, is nearly 4 million years later than the Trachilos footprints found by Gerlinski in 2002. Even if we accept that the dating is correct, which with modern techniques seems likely to be the case, how do we know that these footprints were made by early ancestors of the human race? Well, the evidence lies in the shape of the prints. The first sign that these Cretan prints could belong to our homonym ancestors is that the creatures that made them clearly walked on the soles of their feet rather than on their toes. Moreover, the impressions on the toes and the sedimentary rocks also hold vital clues. 
there are clearly five toes in the footprints and one of those is more developed than the others just like the big toe that modern humans have as well as that there's no sign of claw marks which indicate that these creatures had toenails rather than claws however the shape of the footprints does not necessarily provide conclusive evidence that the animals who made them were homonyms an alternative view of the prints posits that they could belong to an ape not one of the homonyms related to us this theory suggests that the creatures perhaps walked upright only occasionally and there's a wealth of archaeological evidence showing that there were apes living in Europe around the same time as the footprints were created in Crete in fact the fossil record for great apes stretches back 13 million years to an extinct species called Piero Lapithecus the bones of this species which were discovered in Spain show that it may have been able to walk upright in an article in the conversation Matthew Robert Barnett and per Alberg two of the team that published the Trachilos paper wrote if and for many it's a big if the tracks of Trachilos were indeed made by an early human ancestor then the biogeographical range of our early ancestors would increase to encompass the Eastern Mediterranean and Bennett and Alberg went on to point out that earlier in 2017 another paper described possible hominem fossil teeth discovered in Greece and Bulgaria that were said to be 7 million years old these teeth that was suggested could show that humans started to evolve in Europe hundreds of millennia before they did in Africa Bennett and Alberg say they're skeptical of this claim however which would turn current human evolution theory on its head but the two scientists do believe that all of this evidence could be an example of the well-documented phenomena of divergent evolution they describe this as two unrelated animals developing similar anatomical features as adaptions to a particular lifestyle in other words the teeth and feet may belong to animals not actually part of the human lineage so these European discoveries suggest a possible hominin presence earlier than that so far found in Africa nonetheless the evidence has certainly not convinced most scientists that we need to rewrite our textbooks yet and perhaps it never will that won't stop it from being talked about however as professor Alberg told Sci news this discovery challenges the established narrative of early human evolution head-on and is likely to generate a lot of debate 